All right, we're ready for your assignment on deleting tables and schemas. For this assignment, Amy Baker, the owner of the candy store, who you've worked with before, has come back to you with another request. She's almost ready to roll the database out to her employees so that they can start actually using it at scale. But she has a couple more asks that she'd like you to do first. She wants you to drop the table candy products entirely so she knows what the margins are but she doesn't actually want her employees knowing how much she's making on every sale. So she'd like you to just go ahead and get rid of the candy products table from the candy store schema. And then she's also got this duplicate copy candy store old. This is an old copy. It's now out of date based on some of the changes that you've made and she doesn't want to maintain both. So if you could go ahead and drop that schema, she would appreciate that. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record here, I just want you to be extremely careful anytime you're using drop, whether you're dropping a table or dropping a schema, you really do not want to drop any of the schemas that we have created for you already. If you drop them, you're going to have a hard time in the rest of the course. You're going to need to go back and reinstall them with the create code but the create code won't run because some of the schemas already exist. So it's gonna be really kind of a headache for you. So just be very careful. Don't drop anything that you're not supposed to drop. This one should be a pretty straightforward exercise for you. You know everything that you need to do. You've got the skills. Good luck.